Good afternoon. The Commission for Energy Regulation has revealed how much households will have to pay for their water. The new charge will be introduced from tomorrow, but everyone will have their charge capped for nine months, regardless of whether they've had a water meter installed or not. The rate will be €176 Euro for a household with one adult, plus around €102 Euro for every extra adult living there. A family of two adults and two children will pay an annual water bill of around €278. Euro. We're live now to our finance correspondent, Brian O'Donovan, who's at the Energy Regulator's headquarters for us. Uh, Brian, you've been speaking to the regulator in the last hour. That's right, Colette. Paul McGowan has been telling me that when you look at international examples, Ireland won't be the most expensive country in Europe for water, but it won't be the cheapest either. He is pointing out, however, that not every country has this free children's allowance that will kick in once the water charges start from tomorrow. Paul McGowan, the regulator, is urging everybody to fill in the forms that you've gotten in the post from Irish Water because he says if you don't fill in the form and send it back, you'll end up paying more because you won't get the free allowances that you're entitled to. He says if everybody is overcharged during this period at the start, this nine-month lead-in period when everyone's on the same assessed charge. If anybody is overcharged, you will be entitled to a refund and you will get that refund after six months. Now, the charges that are being announced today are only good up until the end of 2016, so I asked the regulator, Paul McGowan, if price rises are inevitable. It's too early to say. To be honest, we have a lot of things that might change in the meantime. For example, Irish Water's charges and costs uh, are based on costs, which we have scrutinised. We imposed a 14% reduction in their uh, operating costs. We will be looking to impose even more stringent reductions on, on Irish Water's costs into the future. But as well as that, there's a lot of investment to be done. So it's too early to say, but we will begin looking at that next year. And again, we will be going through a full public consultation in relation to the charges that would apply from tw to 2017 onwards. Brian, any political reaction to all of this? Lots of political reaction, Colette. First off, Fianna Fáil saying that this is a case of the public having to pay for the huge consultancy fees and set-up costs at Irish Water. Barry Cowan from Fianna Fáil is saying that the government's promised allowances are now lower and the average amount that they said people would have to pay is now higher. Sinn Féin says that it's not happy with the water charges either. They're saying bills are going to go up and up over the years and that if it gets into government, it will reverse the water charges. But on his way into today's cabinet meeting, the public expenditure minister, Brendan Howlan, describes the water charges as fair and equitable. It seems to me that um, all the issues that were of concern to people have been addressed. Uh, the volume of water that would be free for children, which again is subject to review and it will be based on actual usage over time. Um, I think it's a good idea uh, for, of the commissioners uh, to cap for the first nine months uh, the, the actual charge so that people can get used to uh, being able to uh, moderate their own bills over time. Now, with all this reaction to water charges today, it's no harm to remind people what they'll actually pay. Just to give you some examples, a bath will cost you around 39 cent. Flushing the toilet will cost you around 4 cent. Using the washing machine, 31 cent. And having a shower, 19 cent.